Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas. Uh, this is my video I'm going to do on the triangle sum theorem. Uh, now the triangle sum theorem states the sum of the interior angles of a triangle equal 180 degrees. And so, um, again, the idea is that if you add up all the interior angles of a triangle, they should always equal 180 degrees no matter how big or small the triangle is, no matter if it's acute or obtuse, it doesn't matter. All the angles need to equal 180 degrees. And let me emphasize this. Um, you could be in China, you could be in India, you could be in the Philippines, England, Ireland, uh, Texas, somewhere in the South America. It doesn't matter what uh, kind of triangle you have, it, the angles on the inside of the triangle are always going to equal 180 degrees. Uh, so again, it's really important to understand this because you're probably going to deal with this over 100, maybe a couple hundred times in your geometry class. Uh, and so I've got a couple example problems um, that I'm going to work on. And uh, they start from easy and they get to, to fairly complex problems. And they all deal with the triangle sum theorem. Now this one states find the measure of the missing angle. And so we're trying to figure out what angle one is. And when I was your age, my, my teacher uh, had us add up all the angles. So angle 60 plus 85 plus the measure of angle one equals 180 degrees. And when I combine this to simplify and solve for the measure of angle 1, it's real straightforward from here. And so this equals the measure of angle 1 equals 180 degrees. And if I subtract 145 from both sides, uh, we end up with the measure of angle 1 equals 35 degrees. And so this angle here is 35 degrees. Uh, there's a shortcut you can do. You can just add these two up and this gets me 145 and then subtract that from 180 and that still gets you 35 degrees whatever makes you happy this is the long way this is how I grew up doing it uh, this is how I show my students how to do it and so whichever way makes you happy uh, but I'm gonna move on to a problem that's a little bit more challenging uh, we have right here find the measure of the missing angle and notice this is a little different here we're not given this angle right now if I were to start solving this problem um, these guys right here all need to equal 180 degrees. But I don't know what this angle is right here. And so I need to use information from earlier classes and remember that we have a linear pair. These two angles equal 180 degrees. And I need to find this angle before I can find angle one. And a way to do that is, is 180 minus 148. And so this gives me 32 degrees. So this angle is 32 degrees. Again, this is a linear pair. These two angles combine and make a line. Uh, and so since I know this is 32, I can now add the 92 plus the 32. And this is a 4. This is a 1. This is 12. So I now take 180 minus 124, and I end up with 56 degrees. And so I know the measure of angle 1 is 56 degrees. Uh, again, your teacher might prefer that you solve problems this way. Um, I show my students just a short, quick way is just to combine these two angles, subtract it from 180, and you end up with your given angle here. Uh, and so let me move on, move on to a problem that's just a little bit more challenging. Uh, we have, um, now keep in mind, we have two triangles here. I have a triangle over here, and all these angles need to equal 180 degrees. I also have another triangle over here, and all these angles need to equal 180 degrees. Now the tricky part about this is, is we have two triangles that are kind of uh, sharing a vertex here and so a lot of my students get confused here uh, and, and, and so don't make this really challenging. Now my goal is to find angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3 so we're moving on to uh, multiple angles we need to solve. And a lot of people will go angle 1, how can I solve this? Well you don't have enough information right now unless you understand the exterior angle theorem which I haven't talked about yet. Uh, I will have a video on that one if you want to watch that one as well. But the way I show my students is we need to work our way across. And so my goal is to find this guy first. And well, I know these three angles have to equal 180. So if I add 106 plus 47, that gets me 153. I can now take 153 away from 180, and I end up with 27 degrees. So I know this angle is 27 degrees. Again, I know these three angles have to equal 180 degrees. And there's a couple things we can do right now. I'm going to solve two first because if I look very carefully, this line and this line form a vertical angle. And so this angle right here is going to be congruent to the 27 degrees because vertical angles are always congruent. So I know the measure of angle two right now is 27 degrees. And then we have a linear pair. Do you see it? 
this guy's a linear pair or this guy's a linear pair, whatever whatever way you, you look at it, those two angles have to equal 180 degrees. So I'm going to take 180 minus 27 and I end up with 153 degrees. And so angle 1, so the measure of angle 1 is 153 degrees. And so now my goal is to find angle 3. Do I have enough information to find angle 3? Yes. I know two out of the three angles in this triangle. So I can add 58 plus 27, take this whatever it is away from 180 and I can find angle 3. Well this ends up with being 85. So these two equal 85. So 180 minus 85 degrees gets me 95 degrees. So the measure of angle 3 is 95 degrees. And so this has got a little bit more challenging. One more problem, I'm going to call it quits in this video. I have a really hard problem here. Uh, now, a lot of my students look at this and they get overwhelmed. Keep in mind, we have one triangle here. So these angles right here need to equal 180 degrees. We have a second triangle right here where these three angles need to equal 180 degrees. And then we have a third triangle here and these angles need to equal 180 degrees. So don't be overwhelmed here. We have three triangles right next to each other and they're all kind of sharing a line that's going right across from it. And so I'm going to solve this slowly and, and but surely and you'll be really good here. Uh, and you'll understand this. Again, this is about as hard as it gets when it comes to problems my kids are going to have on a test. And so my goal right now is to find angle one. Well, shoot. To find angle one, um, I know these here have to equal 180 because they're a linear pair, but I don't know what this one is right now. So I'm going to look elsewhere. Where can I find more information? Well, vertical angle, this is 135 and this is 135. Um, that doesn't help me, but wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. These two combine to make a line. This is another linear pair. Those have to equal 180 degrees. And so if I look here, I can subtract 135 from 180 degrees and I get a 45 degree angle. I'm going to change colors here. So I know angle 2 is 45 degrees. And now that I know this is 45 degrees, if I look here, I can find this third angle here because I know two out of the three angles. And so my goal is to add the 60 and the 45 and you get 105. If I add those together and I subtract that from 180 and I end up with 75 degrees. So this guy is 75 degrees. Now can I find angle 1? Yes. Again, these have to equal 180, so 180 minus 75 is 105 degrees, so angle 1 equals 105 degrees. So I'm going to put the measure of angle 1 equals 105 degrees. And so this is going to get pretty messy here. Look, I've only solved, oops, I found angle 2, right? I missed that one. Angle 2 is 45 degrees, and so it's getting kind of messy. Notice, again, everything equals 180 degrees. I've written it down multiple times right now. And so I know this is 105, 75, 60, 45. This is 45, again, keep in mind, vertical angles. This is also 45 degrees. And so can I find angle 3 right now? Let me change colors. Um, to find angle 3, I need to know this angle here. So I need to know two out of three angles to find angle 3. Well, wait a minute, vertical angle. So I know this is 72 degrees. If I add these two together, 72 plus 45, that gets me a 7, this is a 117, 180 minus 117 is 63 degrees. So angle 3 is 63 degrees, so the measure of angle 3 equals 63 degrees. Now I need to find angle 4, well let's see here, I know we have another linear pair, those have to equal 180 degrees, and so what is 180 minus 72? I get 108, so angle 4 so the measure of angle 4 is 108 degrees. And so I'm still working around. I need to get angle 5. Angle 5, I need to know two out of the three angles in this triangle here. Can I find this angle? Yes, I can. Again, these combine to make a linear pair. They have to equal 180. So 180 minus 140 is 40 degrees. So this guy is a 40 degree angle. And right now I can now find angle 5 because this is fifth, f sorry, angle 5 plus 72 degrees plus 40 degrees has to equal 180 degrees. So what's 72 and 40? I'm going to do that very quickly. Uh, that is 72 and 40 is 112. If I take 180 minus 112, I end up with 68 degrees. 
And so angle 5, or the measure of angle 5, is 68 degrees. I know it got kind of messy, uh, but keep in mind, again, we have three triangles. These triangles have to equal 180 degrees. We used vertical angles a couple times and linear pairs several times, and that's the trick to this problem. Remember linear pairs and vertical angles, and a triangle has to equal 180 degrees, and you can work your way through the problem. Anyways, hopefully this helps you out, and have a good day. Bye-bye.